Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Day 976 inside. Even though I love being home, it's weird, you know, not to go to like Target on the regular. Like I really miss Target. I never realized how much I would miss going to Target, just walking around and looking at stuff. So I decided to dress like a Target employee today just to like, you know, reminisce. No, I just put this shirt on by accident. But I figured that I would put some makeup on today, just try to, you know, not lose my skill. <laughs> I've been doing lots of like crafts in the house. If you follow me on social media, you've seen that I've been doing like tie-dye and like little resin projects and just like baking and <laughs> so I figured today's artistic outlet would be doing my makeup. <laughs> and I figured that I would do it with you guys. Also gonna show you guys how I uh, touch this hair up when it looks like this. This is just my air dried hair, but I do kind of mess with these front pieces a little bit. So I'll show you that at the end. So I'm gonna prep my skin with this Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. This is a 24 karat moisturizing gel cream. I love this product. It is super, super liquidy. So just be careful. Like I can't even explain the texture of it, but I've been using it nonstop since I got it. I would also like to state that I did wash my hands and sanitize them, which I always have been doing long before we've been seeing it all over the news. You should always wash your hands and sanitize before you touch your face. This gel cream just feels so hydrating. It's so lightweight. It doesn't feel sticky. It just feels really good on the skin. I really like it. So I'm gonna let that sink in, but we'll speed the process up. I picked a hell of a time to get lash extensions too, right? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna have like two on. I probably will have none on. This eye is hanging on pretty good. Like that one, this guy, I've got like four left over here. And then for my primer, I'm gonna use this Hydrating Pore Professional. I'm only gonna put this product where I feel like my pores are largest, which is like great in this area. So I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath foundation. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I'm gonna work that into the skin. I feel like this might be a little too light for me. But no, 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 it's good. As long as you're like one to two shades in your range, you should be good. This foundation is very light, but it provides a ton of coverage. And I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit on this brush to add to my forehead. You really don't need a lot. I also never realized how much water we drank until we couldn't get water. I'm gonna do a video this week laminating my own brows. I bought a brow lamination kit. So I'm gonna just do a simple eye because this is not going anywhere, okay? But I am gonna use this new palette. Like I said, it was the Supreme Nude Palette and I just love the actual palette itself. And we're gonna put him on the lid and then work it up into our crease. I love this brown shade. And then I'm gonna take it up into the crease um, I love the shade, so I'm gonna pick up some product on this fluffier brush and just kind of swirl that into our crease. Again, the shade that I'm using is called Transcend, but so pretty. I haven't put eyeshadow on in 3,000 years. Perfection, perfection. This is such a beautiful color. All right, let's do a little concealer. I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Light Medium in number 11. I need to get another one of these because I am running super duper low on this. But this is my most favorite concealer. I don't, I don't know why I put that there. <laughs> I was on the Pat McGrath concealer for a minute, but I just love this Dose of Colors one, it's so good. Don't get me wrong, the Pat McGrath one is really good too. It's just like, you know, we all have the ones that we like the most. And this is mine. And I'm just gonna pull this back. I feel like I'm always really chatty in the beginning of these like makeup videos and then I just get in the zone because you know, doing your makeup is like pretty relaxing and then I forget to talk. And then I'll just blend this shit. I don't know what, who, why? I'm just gonna use this Tati Beauty like applicator just to push the product in a little more. I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath uh, under eye brightening or setting. Hold on, I'll read it to you in one second, but I'm gonna use this to set underneath my eyes because this is like, I've never used anything like this powder. I like that you can use it with like any concealer because sometimes like when products come together, you can really, like it really works best with that guy, but this guy works with any concealer I've tried so far. And it's just like so smoothing and blurring underneath the eye. So it is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And I use mine in the shade light because before I was using like an under eye setting powder and then I was using a brightening powder and it's like they combine that into one formula. So I no longer use like a brightening powder. I just use 
that under eye powder. Uh, I'm gonna set my face with this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Foundation Powder. And I'm just going to put it on with a brush really quickly at first, and then I'll show you. I'm then gonna take a little powder puff and then just push it in if you want like a little more coverage. I can just get a little bit on the puff because I already put the majority of it on. I just feel like when you go in with this and you push, I just feel like you get an even smoother looking face, which I don't even know if that's possible, but I feel like it just makes a difference. Also, I got this big tray from the actual Makeup Forever website. You can put anything magnetic in here and this is the size XL. Probably could have got a large, but it's fine. I'm gonna bronze up the skin and I'm just gonna use a combination of these two lawless bronzers. This top one, which has been through the ringer, is called Golden Hour and this one is called Blaze. And I'm gonna hit my cheeks. I'm gonna do my cheeks, I'm gonna do my temples, a little on the forehead, around the jawline. And I'm gonna take my brush that I put on our powder foundation with and kind of swirl that. Really light, really light, not a lot of pressure. And then this is the brush that we use to apply the Pat McGrath powder underneath. There's no extra product, but there's still product on the brush, and I'm just going to swirl that over the cheeks as well. Then I'm gonna do like a little color combination of these Persona blushes, which are amazing. These are their super blushes. So I'm gonna start with Georgia, and I'm gonna just apply this here. It has like a little bit of like sheen and glow to it, so it just really, it just makes you look healthy. That's a good, that's a good way to put it. It makes you look healthy. Again, that we put on our powder foundation with and just tap that over the blush. So I'm just gonna use some setting spray and this It Cosmetics Heavenly brush, which is a very fluffy brush. Is what I use to just push the setting spray into the skin. A lot of you guys ask me if there's any product on this brush. The answer is no. This just makes you look more like skin, like not all the powder that we just put on the face. So then usually I would do my lashes and mascara, but like I said, we're gonna let these 17 lash extensions live their life, so I'm just gonna move on to setting my eyebrows. Any strong gel will do the job, and you're gonna need a little fan or something to fan your brows with. This is kind of just like a faux brow lamination. If you want to kind of see what your brows will look like fluffy, you're gonna pick up a little bit of gel, and we're gonna start right in the front of the brow. and then you can really just mold your brow how you like it. And I'm just gonna lift these hairs up over to create a fuller looking brow, like that. Sometimes you do gotta give it like a little push with your finger so it sticks to your skin. Once you have a shape that you're happy with, I just hit it with the fan to lock in, to lock it in. I've seen people use um, like got to be hair glue for this too, for like a faux brow laminated look. I just feel like that dries really fast and you don't have like enough time to get your brow into position, but oh, that's just me. Drink a little H2O. So I'm gonna use KKW lip liner in 1.5, which is kind of like my go-to everyday lip liner. Look at that. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this guy. Like I said, this is like my everyday lip liner. It's just perfect. Always draw under here a little darker than the sides, just so it looks like more of a shadow to make this lip look like extra pouty. Only overline this like top center part of my lip and then make sure everything connects back to the natural lip line. Like, she's pretty overlined on that side. <laughs> she is overlined, girl. And then for my lipstick today, I'm also gonna use this shade called Angel Baby, which is also from Artist Couture's new collection. My lips are so trapped, don't judge me. We're gonna put a gloss on, don't worry. I'm gonna fluff that to the edge. This is called Saucy Gal. I'm just gonna tap to get some of the excess off and blend it together. I feel like you never know how trapped your lips are until you put lipstick on. I'm gonna take a little tiny brush and just kind of soften that lip line edge. 
And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a gloss. This is also from Artist Couture. And I'm just gonna hit this in the center. And then this is the finished look. All right, so you guys remember when I went to London, it was actually to see the reveal of this new product from Dyson, which is their Dyson Corral cordless hair straightener. So I have had this now, I've only had this now for like a week. Hold on, let me turn it up. I'm gonna turn it on 410, there's three different settings. But, so I've only had that guy for about a week now, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I touch up my air dry hair. Because, I mean, I don't want to really, really want to be, like, blow-drying my hair. I'm not going anywhere, so why, why am I going to blow-dry it? <laughs> so, oh, it's ready to go. So, oh, my God. I should brush my hair when I woke up in the morning. <laughs> so, even though it's a hair straightener, you can do other things with it. So, the front part of my hair, like, these little sections here, I will do in S-Wave, which I think is really cool. It's, like, this flat wave in your hair. This is how I do the front pieces. I kind of mush it like this and then squish it in there, like I'm squishing that shape in, and then push it back, like you see that little shape? And then I'm squishing it in, and squishing it in, and then I'm turning this, and then flat ironing it like that. So then I get this cool flat wave. I do this to basically any piece that I can get like straight on like this because I find that if it's like more straight like this, I can wave it a little better. And then I'm gonna do this one the opposite way. So I'm gonna start like this and I'm gonna push that little, it's kind of like an S shape. And then like this. I like this one. I like this uh, straightener because you can get really close to the plates and not burn yourself. And then push that in there. <gasps> so cool. <laughs> so once I start getting to like the side and the back, it's hard for me to do this S wave. Just because I can't really see. This also is like a, a hairstyle that's kind of easier to do on other people than yourself, but you just kind of I'm not even, I can't even see what I'm doing. So hopefully this is like S-waving itself. <laughs> um, but you're really just like kind of creating that shape and then hitting it with the flat iron so it gets like that nice flat wave. When I was in London and I finally learned how to do this, I was like wearing my hair like this nonstop and you guys were like, what were you using to do your hair? But they, they you couldn't say anything about anything. They were like real top secret over there. So kind of creating that shape and then squishing the iron over it and then when I came home okay that that bottom piece didn't come out as good so it's which way is it going it was going this way and then I did this the other day, so I don't really need to do like a bunch of pieces. I just wanted to show you how I made my air dry hair look a little better. So you can straighten with this, you can wave with this, you can S wave with this, you can curl with this. So it's just really cool. Obviously you can straighten hair with this. Um, I'm gonna try to S wave this piece though. He's a little bit bigger. And I can't really see, but like I said, your fingers can get really close to the plates and you don't have to worry about them burning you, which is nice. You see, like I struggle to get these back pieces going because I can't. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get that. You just want to make sure you have that shape. Okay, we're, we're kind of getting this one. We kind of got him. I just feel like doing like a couple of those pieces have just like made my hair look cuter than it actually looks. I'm gonna turn it off. So I just feel like when I like wave these front pieces, it just kind of makes it look, you know, like, I don't know, like I, I tried to do my hair today, but really I didn't. You saw me brushing it, like it really needed a brush, so. <laughs> so now that I have a full face of makeup on and my hair is fixed, I'm just gonna go sit on the couch. So that is it for me. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye guys.